I do have four kids. My four kids, they accept the same public school. My oldest son, he graduated from Johnson High School. My daughter goes to creative arts here downtown St. Paul. My little one, one of my little ones, they go to um, Farnsworth, Upper Campus, and the other one just passed to Johnson High School. And I was the uh, president from the Latino Consent Decree for four years. Having a, my art here at the Capitol, it means a lot. I even have the opportunity to create the altars in many places. Being here, something that I can't even believe that I still think is that it's a dream, but I know this is going to open the doors for many of the Latino community to come to a public space. My altar and the altars that I've built throughout the community and friends' house, they all have the same idea of the, the miracle flower, as you see all over is the tradition, the water, the food, the light from the candles. These are all things you need and then you put the person that you love and miss so that you never forget them and that no one ever forgets them. There are 350,000 Latinos in the state of Minnesota and unfortunately uh, we're not uh, adequately represented in politics, in media, in the arts. And so for us, it's incredibly important for us to have this important Day of the Dead tradition at the People's House here in the Minnesota State Capitol. We bring a lot of attributes to the community, both economically and socially as well. And we are often forgotten or not even considered when we talk about Minnesota. When you think of Minnesota, you don't think, oh, Latinos, but we are an integral part. And we've been in this state for generations. We have helped build the state as well. Our granddaughter is, um, has Latinx heritage through her grandfather on her father's side. And he's actually a bit of a hero. He has a very uh, rich history. And we came today to honor him. We actually brought a little clipping and put it there. So it's got his picture and his story. It's also important for us to remember uh, the loved ones who have passed on, the many deaths that we've experienced over the past couple of years with COVID, with racist policing, with uh, deaths on the border, with people who don't have health insurance and haven't been able to get treated in a timely manner. And for us to remember uh, these, these individuals is really important and to remind state legislators that our community matters. We also want to invite our community to come here and, and see themselves represented and feel like they belong here in Minnesota.